I saw the King John back again in Kitchen of Dreams with yet another attempt of a nail review. This one was kindly sent to me by Broughton Brewery, the can version of it, and it's a comparison against the bottle version. And here we have the bottle version, and it's from the Broughton Breweries, uh, bigger in Scotland, Scottish Borders. And it's a Hoppo 6.2 uh, IPA on the Richter scale, 6.2 on the Richter scale, and it's up against the can version of the Hoppo, which I haven't had. I'm not a massive fan of IPA style, I've got to admit that, but Broughton Brewery IPA has been, it was pretty decent. There has been a few that have slipped under the Sofa King Drunk uh, rating uh, as decent, and this is one of them. So anyway, let's get the bottle version into the glass. Like majestic pour. Streaming carbonation racing up the glass here. Nice big fluffy head about it. Up against the can version. Let's spark it open. I've got to admit, I am a fan of canned beer. Uh, for me, it's it's fresher, and that is streaming up in my Brottons. Six point two carbonation in my Brotton glass. So anyway, let's go in for the nose of the bottle version. See what it's all about. A little bit of the G fruit, it is an IPA. Nice sort of bready note. You know it's got a backbone, it's 6.2 in a Richter. Smells pretty good. Now the can version. It's the first one I've had out of the cans. A lot tighter with the, the nose, the aromas. A lot more fresher. Nice bready note. A little bit of citrus. So anyway, we're going to go in for the bottle version. So anyway, Sofa King Trunk drinking ah, Broughton Brewery Hoppo 6.2 in a Richter scale IPA Sanjeeva. Pretty good. What I like about the Hoppo is the higher you go in the IPA Richter scales, the grapefruit is always intense, major, major hoppy, and that's what puts me off them. But they seem to balance it, they seem to pull it back. I don't know how they do it. It is there, it's not my favourite taste ever in a beer. I've got to admit, but I've I respect it in this. It is pretty good. It's robust. It's got that sort of like lovely backbone to it. Uh, which is very, very Moorish, but it's 6.2. is very, very dangerous. But that was a can version. Oh, uh, sorry, that was a bottle version. So let's go in. For the can version, which is in my Broughton glass, for me, I would love, if anyone from Broughton Brew is going to watch this uh, video, I would love for Old Jock, maybe just a trial period, just to appear in cans. That, for me, would be an absolute joy. Well, anyway, moving back to the Hoppo, IPA, 6.2 on a Richter scale can version. A lot more fresher, more 
carbonated, believe it or not. The grapefruit is a little bit more intense than the bottle version. Uh, I've got to admit, lovely citrus. Yeah, the grapefruit is, there's, there's a backdraft of the grapefruit. It is, it is what it is. It is an IPA, the grapefruit, the G-fruit is going to be in it. It is more fresher, more enjoyable uh, type beer. But somehow, <laughs> I am an I am one of those guys that blows my trumpet and waves my flag for canned beer. But in all honesty, I am enjoying the bottle version better because the grapefruit isn't is uh, the grapefruit isn't as sort of like noisy, so to speak. But the can, look, it pours lovely. From the can. Didn't get a head like that in the bottle. Uh, can presentation, decent as well. The bottle for me is, uh, I've got to admit, it's, it's beating the can in this. Anything that I've tried, uh, bottles and ca versus cans, uh, I've always went can. The can's always won it, but for me, the bottle. It's just picked the can. But if you're one of those kind of people that loves your IPAs and you like your hot pino, you're going to enjoy that. Uh, Broughton Brewery, I've, I'm going to go on record just now and just say they are my favourite Scottish brewery. Uh, I've been drinking their beers now for 25 years, I discovered them. Uh, I remember I was in a, a little social club and I got talking to a guy who was drinking Green Mantle. I had never ever seen or heard of Green Mantle before. And he urged me to get a bottle of it. And I tried it and it opened my uh, sort of door. I was just a lager or a Guinness man back in those days. Lager in the summer, Guinness in the winter. And uh, it, it opened my mind up to there's different beers out there that you should be trying. Uh, Green Mantle was a stepping stone for me for Broughton Brewery. I don't know if they do it. I think they bring it back every so often. But I don't know if they do it uh, every so often. It's one of those ones uh, I would love to... I, it was a bottle of Green Mantle I had. Uh, I would love to have tried it in cask. Uh, so, uh, but some of their beers are outstanding. Like their old jock. Uh, beers like that, uh, they're... The rejock, the re, uh, oh, they've got about two or three, four I think, maybe four jocks. Uh, rejock, uh, they've got lovely beers, uh, fantastic. They've got a few IPAs. They've got a proper IPA. They've got the Hopple IPA. They've got the Hopple Session one as well, uh, which is quite a favourite of mine as well. Uh, the beers are well worth checking out. I'm going to drop a link. The bottom of this video, hopefully it'll work <laughs> to their website. You should really check these guys out. Broughton Brewery, uh, outstanding stuff. If you've never had an old jock, you really need to try it. That for me is the, that is their flagship beer for me anyway. I think it is a flagship beer anyway. It's an outstanding uh, dropper at ale. So anyway, uh, for once the bottle beats the can and... Uh, um, it's because of the G fruit I'm not a fan of uh, grapefruit but anyway uh, if you stuck along to the end of this long winded video from so freaking drunk I salute you and if not uh, well you wouldn't know that <laughs> and if, if you have that's what I'm saying I hope you come back again and uh, I'm not one of those kind of people that says hit likes and subscribes and all that. It's up to the, the actual viewer. They want to do it. They want to do it. And if not, they don't. Anyway, Slangy Va. Keep drinking the good Scottish eels out there and check out Broughton Brewery. Ciao for now.